Hey guys, Ben from Ben's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Duelist. Last time, we dueled as Chaz against Blair, who was a new character in all this, although she was around before, um, and won the first GX tournament. And because of that, the uh, old blue dorm is going to return instead of the white one that was on campus. And so there we go. And so this time, we're going to be doing a duel of a duel, dueling as Jaden against somebody new. So let's get started. And uh, before going into the... Uh, yeah, before going into the story, uh, basically every season, or, you know, every year of the Duel Academy, you know, they introduce a lot of new characters. So, yeah, that's why we're getting so many new characters all the time. And so, Jaden began his third year at Duel Academy, and Chancellor Shepard brought in the top duelists from other Duel Academies around the world. So, yeah, this is his third year, still a slight for red, um... You'd think he'd move up a little bit, but he just never did. Maybe because of choice, but then again, you know, Cyrus moved up, so it's like, that's the reason he stayed in the Red Dorms, as I've mentioned already, so it's like, doesn't add up, but whatever. Chancellor Shepard called the entire student body together to introduce the new transfer students. With each new year comes modifications and improvements. Here at Dual Academy, we strive for perfection. So to keep each of... Each one of you at the top of your game, we've invited a few new students to join you. In fact, they represent the top students from each of our four dual academies worldwide branches. So, visiting, visiting us all the way from East Academy, Adrian Gecko, and hailing from West Academy, please, please welcome Axel Brody. Hi, mates. Next, joining us from our branch in the South, it's Jim Crocodile Cook. And last, leading the pack at North Academy, it's Jesse Anderson. So yeah, a lot of new people. I'd also like to, I'd also like you to visit, to meet our visiting professor from West Academy. Say hello to Professor Telonius Viper. It's an honor. For those of you who have heard my methods are strict, you're right. However, I've always felt there is a method to my madness. I believe actions speak louder than words, so why don't we skip over the pleasantries and get down to business? Why don't we kick off the year by holding an exhibition match right now? Jesse Anderson and this, his opponent will be Dual Academy's top student, Jaden Yuki. Jesse, you're a nice guy, but I'm not going to go easy on you. That's not how I roll. Of course, I wouldn't expect anything less from Jaden Yuki. So as they say, let the best duelist win. Ready? You bet. Game on. So here we go. Dueling one of the new students. And so yeah, every year they kind of like added new people. And so yeah, these are the new students for this year. I'm going to go with Rock. Yay, I finally win a Rock, Paper, Scissors. It's been a couple uh, videos since I've won one of these. And so there we go. So let's get started with these uh, with the duel against one of the new kids. And we got pretty decent hand, I'd say. And he's going to just play defensively for now. Alright, what do we got? We got, okay, so Chrysalis Dolphins and Chrysalis uh, Larva. Larva. So the Chrysalis cards kind of like are a way to summon the other Neospatians. See, so like you have the regular Neospatian and then you got the Chrysalis version. And then by attributing this card while Neospace is on the field, you can special summon... Uh, one of these guys. So, yeah. Gotta get Neo Space. Special summon one elemental hero monster from your hand. That monster cannot attack and returns to the hand at the end of the phase. Alright, we got Emergency Hero. Uh, I'm gonna definitely go with that for right now. Get some elemental hero Neos in here. See, as you notice, um, when we were doing that, we only had Neos. So, yeah, the deck is way more heavily centered on the Neo Space uh, heroes than just regular elemental heroes. And as you can see, we have Grand Neos, Glow Neos, Flare Neos, Dark Neos, which is a new one with Dark Panther, uh, Aqua Neos, Air Neos. So we have a bunch of Neoses, just not the, um... Hmm. Ooh, I have an idea. Mm. The problem is, though, I don't have Neo Space. What I was going to do was I was going to summon Air Hummingbird, then special summon Air the Neos with this, and then combine them 
and get the uh, Air Neos, but the problem is, is that I don't have the um, Neo space. So I'm going to just start off with summoning Air Hummingbird in attack mode, why not? And then I'm going to activate his effect so I can get 2,000 life points off the bat. Pretty good start. And then I'm going to battle phase. Let's see what I am up against. Ruby Carb Carbuncle. So yeah. Crystal Beast Ruby uh, Carbuncle. When this card is special summoned, uh, you can su special summon as many Crystal Beast cards as possible from your spell and trap card zones. If this face-up card is destroyed while it is a monster in a monster zone, you can place it in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. So yeah, his deck is centered around these guys, the Crystal Beasts. And that was a, a ruby. So he's got like emeralds, sapphires, amethysts, just all kinds of stuff. I uh, I remember back when I was, uh, yeah, you got Topaz Tiger. Alright. Fair enough. So yeah, I remember back when um, I would like get like Yu-Gi-Oh card packs. Um, I remember that uh, I would see a lot of Amethyst cats for whatever reason, just like, that was the one I had the most of, and I think I only had like one ruby cat uh, ever, so. Dark Hole. Um, do I want to do this now? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I'm not going to use it ever. And so yeah, that's going to the trap card zone. So at least you can't use too many spells and traps. Uh, I'm going to summon Chrysalis Dolphin, I guess? I mean, I really got nothing, um, honestly. Which kind of sucks. Um, so go, Chrysalis Dolphin, attack directly. Woo. But yeah, I have nothing right now, which is kind of the downside to this. Mm, some pot of Greed, alright. And then Rare Value. Um, if there are two or more face up Crystal Beast cards in your Spell and Trap card zones, your opponent chooses one of those. And sends it to the graveyard, then you can draw two cards. Okay, uh, get rid of Topaz Tiger, I guess. I don't want that one. And now he's got Sapphire Pegasus. And now he's putting a Amber Elephant Mammoth into his trap and spell cards, and now he's got that. So yeah, heavy on the Crystal Beasts. There we go, we got um, Neo Space now. Um... How do I want to go about this? Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Uh, Neo Space first. Then I'm going to summon this, right? And then I'm going to activate the effect and get a Flare Scarab and put him in defense mode for now, I guess. And then I'm going to activate Fake Hero and choose Neos, put him in attack mode, right? And then after that I'm going to special summon Flare Neos by doing that. And now I have Flare Neos on the field. And so yeah, that was... And I'm going to put him in attack mode, obviously, because he's going to get 500 plus a bunch extra. Like, look how powerful he is now because of that. 4,600 attack. And there we go. So, perfect. That was a pretty good set of moves uh, right there. And so we're going to end turn. And I do not want to send him to the extra deck. Why would I? Because he's like, he's got 5,000 attack now. Like, these are treated as spell cards. So this thing is getting even more powerful as we go on. So that's one thing about the Crystal Beast that is going to, like, help us out a little bit. Uh, sure, I'll use the terraforming now just to... Um, get a replacement Neo Space if I need it. And so yeah, we're gonna enter the next battle phase and then destroy this. And that's gonna go there. So 5,400 is the current uh, attack. And he can't do the whole like send it to the uh, spell and trap card zone anymore. So that's uh, perfect. Oh, Crystal Abundance. Send four of those to the great... Oh wait, what? What did the... Oh no, what just happened? Oh, okay, that, that that wasn't good. That that was not good. Um, so it seems he sent four of the Crystal Beasts in the Spell and Trap card zone into his graveyard and then sent everything on my field to the graveyard as well. That is... Uh, wow, thanks for that. Um, 
that really helped. Okay, so yeah, Neospace, uh, get another one of those, and uh, see if I can pull something off. No, I cannot. Okay. Um, go Neospace, I guess. I mean, I'm going to lose. Darn. <laughs> It's it, it was a little shaky at first, then we got really good luck and everything, and now it's fallen to pieces. Just everything is falling to pieces now. Huh. That just goes to show you never t you should not become too comfortable with where you're at in this game because it's like one thing is gonna just like end up ruining everything you have set up now so let's try again oh boy like so close oh man all right let's go with scissors nope man had everything set up just right and it, he had like 5,000 attack points if I had just like one more monster on the field I could have potentially won easily all right here we go we got some good stuff here so let's start with uh, graceful charity Come on, get me a Neo Space. Ooh, terraforming though. Um, hmm. Okay. One keep terraforming. One keep these guys. Um, maybe I want to keep that. Okay, what's this one do? Activate only when you control one. Activate only when you control no monsters. That is now. Uh, send one Neo Spatial monster from your hand. And one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. Um, do I want to do that? Sure. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Aqua Dolphin, I guess. Once per turn, you can discard one card. Look at your opponent's hand and choose one monster card in it. If you control a monster with attack greater than or equal to the attack of that chosen card, destroy the chosen card and inflict 500 damage. Otherwise, take 500. Um, if he has a ruby cat, that might be helpful. I know what I want to do. Alright, I know what I want to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send Neos to the... Oh, wait, I still got to do another one. Alright, I'm going to... I'm using Call of the Haunted on Neos. Um, and then, I guess... I want, I want Flare Scarab again, so let's just go with uh, this one. Let's go with Dolphin. Alright, so Terraforming. We are going to get um, a Neo Space, right? And then we're going to activate Neo Space. And then we're going to... I just realized I have to play this face down before I can use it. Um, so next turn we're going to get all this stuff done. And so I'm going to... Summon Chrysalis Chick, and then I'm going to activate the effect to get Air Hummingbird on the field, and I probably should have done defense position, but whatever. And then I'm going to activate it and get a bunch of life points, and then there we go. Um, Alright, so next turn I can summon Flare Scarab, Call of the Haunted, uh, Neos... And then after that, I can fuse those together, get Flare Scarab, and I mean the Crystal Beasts are going to be treated as spell and trap cards, so it's going to be super powerful, and everything's going to be okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and attack it, I don't care. I, it served its purpose of giving me a bunch of life points. I mean, you know, ooh, another spell or trap card in the trap card, yeah. That could be a dangerous one. Uh, let's just go with it, though. Let's just uh, swing for the fences with this one. That's all I can really do right now. Um, so, summon Neospatian Flare Scarab in attack mode. Um, oh, wait. I did want to activate this. Yeah, activate Call of the Haunted and use it on Neos. Right? Bam. And then we're going to fuse them together to get a Flare Neos on the field. And with Call of the Haunted on the field, it's going to help it out and give it even more strength, which is super helpful. So yeah, put him in attack position. And then, yeah, 4,200 already. So that's really good for me. And so this is going to be, like, a lot of damage. There we go, 2,800 points of damage. And that's another Spell and Trap card, which gives it even more strength. 
And so next turn, I can hopefully get something powerful enough to maybe possibly just win this duel in a turn or two uh, after this one. Because that's the main problem, though, is that he's, most of my monsters are pretty weak, and he's going to be playing defensively. Uh, but then again, I guess for the most part, I can just like slowly chip away and hope things are going to work out. All right, I got another Neos. That's uh, that's good. I need a way to summon him easily, though. That's the problem. Um, so let's just uh, summon Flare Scarab again. Why not? He's got 1,300. I don't think um, don't think it will be enough to destroy whatever that is. I could take the chance. It could be a Ruby Cat. And if I do that, hmm. no, I don't want to gamble it. It was a Ruby Cat or Carbuncle. I call it Ruby Cat just because it's a cat, you know. I should have taken the chance, but it's okay, because now Flare Scarab has 1,700 attack, and so maybe next turn I can easily uh, take care of it. Definitely. So, yeah, and he only has two Crystal Beasts in the graveyard, so Crystal Beacon. Crist okay, Emerald Tortoise. And he's activating rare value. Okay, so I gotta select one of these things. Um, right? I choose one of those in the Spawn Trap card, and then he draws two cards. Okay, so Ruby Carbuncle, I guess. And then he's summoning a Topaz Tiger in attack mode. Oh, he's destroying the uh, Flare Scarab. That's not helpful. And then he's doing a defense position and all that stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, just when I thought it was going to be a little easier. Oh, I could dark hole things. I don't want to do that right now. Um, definitely not, because he's going to just send all those all over the place. I have nothing really uh, to replace anything, so let's just... Uh... There's an effect in this, right? Oh yeah, it just gains attack points, that's what it is. I thought it was something more. I don't know why. Okay, let's just get rid of Emerald Tortoise, because that whole like switching things to defense mode is going to be a pain. And because he has the higher defense anyway. Alright, so 5,000 attack for uh, Flare Neos. That's good. Slowly and steadily, we are going to chip away at him. Problem is, is he's... Oh, man. Yeah, more cards in the Spell and Trap card zone. But that's not going to necessarily help me. Alright, cool. I'm going to active... I'm going to summon Chrysalis Lava. And then activate the effect. Uh, again and get another Flare Scarab and put him in attack mode because that's like what, one, two, three, four, five, six. so he's super powerful now. Um, perfect. So Flare Scarab attack uh, this one. Last resort, activate only when... oh boy. Activate only when your opponent declares an attack. You can select one Ancient City Rainbow Ruins from your deck and activate it. If your opponent has an active field spell card when this card is activated they can draw one card okay sure I'll draw a card emergency call pretty good stuff and then Topaz Tiger that gets destroyed all right what's this one do you must have this many crystal beast cards in your spell and trap you must have this many what is this many okay whatever two oh never mind all right so one this card cannot be destroyed by card effects fair enough two once per turn including your opponents you can have the battle damage you take Fair enough. Three, which is the current amount. During either player's turn, when a spell or trap card is activated, you can send one Crystal Beast monster you control to the graveyard and negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Fair enough. Four, once per turn, during your main phase, you can draw one card. Fair. Five, once per turn, during your main phase, you can target one Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap card zone and special summon that target. All right, that's not too bad. That's uh, that's a lot better than I expected, actually. that was I was afraid that it could have been super bad. So yeah, there's Amethyst Cat, and he did not send it to the uh, thing. Weird. All right, well there we go. That's turn, and next turn we're gonna win. Uh, for the most part, I mean, right? We're not gonna lose. Yeah, perfect. There we go. No, I don't want to activate Claire Neos's effect. All right, Oversoul. Um, Emergence Call. Add one Elemental Hero from your hand to from your deck to your hand. Okay. Let's add Neos, even though. Uh, that you have no way of summoning him. I do not know why I did that. Okay. Whatever, we're gonna win. Alright, Flare Scarab. Uh, destroy the face down monster. Alright, it is a Sapphire Pegasus. And then Flare Neos, attack directly. 
having the damage because of Rainbow Ruins. Of, of, of course, how did I forget that? Um, Alright, one more torn! One more... Yeah, yeah, words. One more... Oh boy, I'm just... I'm just surprised that that happened, for the most part. One more turn. Oh boy, Crystal Beacon. Uh, this is the start of the end of what happened last time. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You got uh, two defense monsters. If I can summon one more monster, I can potentially win. Alright. Chrysalis Mole. Sure, we'll summon him and activate the effect, right? You know, we're going to do that. And we're going to get a uh, Neospatian Grand Mole. We only have one of these. Well, summon him. Okay, so. I really need to get one of these Neoses out. So, yeah. Anyway. Neospatian Grand Mole. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent monster, you can return that monster to the hand and... You can... Re okay. So I can return things to the hand. Not necessarily what I want to do. So I'm just going to attack. So, yeah, you destroyed this one just barely enough. I should have done it vice versa, but whatever. And then Grand Mole attacked directly. However, because of that, 450, just enough to hang on. One more one more turn. I said it last time, but I'm saying it this time because I mean it. One more turn will do it. I wonder how long this has been going on for. Monster Reincarnation. Okay, fair enough. You can play that in attack mode and destroy something, you know, you could do that, that would be helpful, nope, okay, fair enough, Aqua Dolphin, alright, summon him, once per turn you can discard one card, look at your card, your opponent, eh, that's not gonna help me, so yeah, let's just uh, summon him, why not, could have sacrificed things to get Neos out, but I mean, this is already as powerful as Neos, so why do that, I don't know, hmm, <clears throat> excuse me, Right, let's end this duel. Alright, uh, Flare Scarab, attack, whatever this is. Perfect. And then, go Flare Neos, just so that, mm, excuse me, there's no way to have him win. There we go. We won. Pretty simple, once you get your good cards out. So, nice duel. I could have beaten you if I had the Rainbow Dragon in my deck. What do you mean, bro? According to the legend, the soul of the Rainbow Dragon lives inside the ancient, an ancient stone tablet, but no one knows where to find it. But when it is found, according to Pegasus, it's going to be made into a dual monsters card. Excellent. A fitting start for the new semester. Your first lesson is complete. As I explained to you before, I fancy myself a man of action. You learn by practicing. So I'll be organizing mandatory duels every day, and I suggest you comply. Because from now on, I'll be monitoring your every move. You're my pupils now, and to succeed, you must duel. Mwahahaha. ha 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 Aw man, something's not right about this. See, as you can kind of have told from that like small bit of animation around Cyrus right now, he is now an obelisk blue as of this moment. And yeah, you're right, something does not sound right, especially if he goes mwa-ha-ha-ha-ha. Ha, ha, ha. Typical villain laugh. Oh, and this is another new guy, Tyranno Hasselberry. Uh, they didn't really introduce him, but yeah, he's a new guy. So anyway, what gave that away? The maniacal laugh? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's another get new guy that they didn't really introduce. I think he was just like a student at Dual Academy regular, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. They just added new people all the time. But anyway, uh, we have defeated uh, Jesse. Blinked on his name for a second there. We defeated Jesse, uh, and it was a pretty good duel. So next time, we're going to be doing Hanging with Axel. So see you guys then.